Hello guys, my name is Thilo. I'm working with AFMG Technologies in Berlin, Germany. We're a software developer you might know from a software called Ease Focus, a sound system simulation software uh, that you can actually download for free from the internet. Um, today I'm going to give you a quick preview of the new features we'll be having in Ease Focus 3, uh, the version which we're going to release in fall. Um, now I'm just going to walk you very quickly through all the new features. Um, we're going to have so-called overlap regions. So right now you already see in the preview, you have a marked region where two cabinets of the same line array hit the same audience area. And you have the same mark in the levels display. So when you're working with your splay angles here for the array, you will immediately see which angle should I be tapering with when you have an increase or a ditch in the levels display. So that's very easy. You just run your mouse over and you can edit the angles that are affecting the levels at the position where both cabinets are hitting the audience. So that will be the overlap regions which will be new in East Focus 3 then. Uh, next thing which has been quite often uh, requested uh, is the so-called polar input of data. So in the new version you'll be able to use uh, laser distance meters, inclinometers, to be using a reference point in the audience or on your stage, measuring the distance and inputting the values as relative values from that reference point. So it's very easy to use your laser disto, uh, just quickly pick up the points in the audience and set up your audience areas in East Focus 3 then. Um, the next major improvement we have in uh, East Focus version 3 is the sound pressure summation, which by now can be uh, switched over to a complex summation. This is very important for the subarray modeling in Ease Focus. Um, and we have a very neat tweak that we have. The power summation so far should be used uh, for different sound sources, and now you can switch it over to a complex summation between different sound sources, and you can select the frequency that you want the, uh, the power summation uh, to go over to a complex summation in the lower end. Uh, and that will give you the possibility of uh, simulating um, subarrays in East Focus 3, which I'm just quickly going to show you. Um, with East Focus 3, you can do all different kinds of uh, subarrays. Um, and I'm giving you a quick preview. Um, you know the typical linear type uh, subarray. We already have a macro where you have all the spacings which are automatically calculate for you. And then you get a linear line array um, where you can determine the opening angle of the array. Um, the next version, of course, probably known to everybody is the so-called N-Fire array. You will be able to set up different sound sources behind one another to actually produce the typical N-Fire array uh, forward movement of the subs. Um, then we have the different um, cardioid options that you have, a double cardioid, um, a double cardioid with uh, inverted polarity, of course. Uh, you can do the same thing with three, three side-by-side -side cardioid. Um, you can also stack them on top of one another, which in the top view, of course, does not show up nicely, but in the side view, you will see the, uh, the cabinets on top of one another. Um, then the next option would be a four cardioid or so-called diamond. And for those of you fans or Dave Ratt, you will know the Vortex uh, four by four arrangement, which can also be simulated. And you will be seeing how the sound, uh, the, the sub pattern will um, be developing towards your audience and how the whole setup will be. Uh, now we have a few different other quick nice things that you can do with East Focus 3. Many people have asked for gain grouping of amplifiers. So if you have um, two cabinets or three cabinets that are driven by the same um, by the fam same amplifier channel, you can set how many amplifier channels are you going to be using, and then you can assign two cabinets or three cabinets to the same amplifier channel, which makes uh, the gain setting a lot easier. Um, we have switched a quite new interesting tweak underneath the hood to a database management of the GLL data. So we're not handling separate GLL files anymore. We actually have a database underneath which manages the whole thing. 
Um, that's the main features of East Focus 3. Uh, there's a few nice things underneath, and of course there will be more to come. I thank you all for watching. Thanks to Rave Publications as well.